Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to access list elements. Now, before I start this, if you want internships uh, sent directly to your email or you're looking for ways to uh, get an internship, check out the top link in the description to sign up to my newsletter. Uh, and I hope you'll enjoy but um, let's get started here. So we're interviewing candidates for a job. We'll call each and each candidate in order represented by a Python list. So one will go for Zofia, Amari, Ezio, and Ananya. So first we'll call Juan and then Zofia. So in Python, we call each uh, we call the location of an element in the list its index. Python lists are zero index. This means that the first element has index zero rather than one. So here are the index numbers. So basically all it's saying is the index is like what position it's in. And Python lists start at the position zero. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. So one is zero, Sophia's one, and so forth. So in this example, the element index two is Amari. So we can select a single element from a list by using the square brackets and the index of the list. If we wanted to select a third element, we'd simply just use calls and then two because it's zero, one, two, which is the third element. And it's gonna output Amari right here. Now, when accessing elements of a list, you must use an int as the index. If you use a float, you will get an error. This is specifically, or this is especially tricky using division. So for example, if you do print calls uh, two divided, four divided by two, which will re result in an error because four divided by two gets evaluated to the float 2.0. Now to solve this problem, you can force the result of your division to be an int by using the int function. Int takes a number and cuts off the decimal point. For example, the 5.9 um, and int 5.0 both become five. Therefore, uh, calls and then if you have an int here, um, it'll become just two because the decimal will get cut off. So use the square brackets to access the fourth employee from the list and save it to the variable, the variable employee four. Okay, so employee four equals, we have employees, the fourth, the fourth employee will be at index three. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so it should call Pam. Okay, paste the following code into script.py. What happens? Well, we get an index out of bounds or out of range. Why? Because it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. There is no seventh or eight element, right? So accessing an element that does not exist produces an index error. In the line of code that you pasted, change the eight to an index that exists so that you don't get the index error. Okay, we'll do six. Raw break is printed. Run your code again. Yeah, so that's basically how to access list elements. Now, when we're accessing list elements and you want to look at a negative index, um, this is what essentially happens. So what if we want to select the last element of a list? We can use the index negative one to select the last item of a list, even when we don't know how many elements are in the list. So consider the following list with six elements, eggs, flour, butter, milk, sugar, and love. If we select the negative one index, we'll get the final element love. Mm, okay, so whenever you use the negative one, it just prints out the last element, which will print out love. So this is equivalent to selecting the elements with index five. That would also output love. Now here are the negative index for our list. 
so this is negative one negative two negative three negative so basically this is zero one two three four five and then it can also be negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five negative six like so create a variable called last element okay and assign it to the last element in the shopping list to the variable last element using a negative index. Okay, so we'll do shopping list and just print out negative one. Now select the element with the index five and save it to index five element. Okay. Equals shopping list and then you can just put a five in here. Now, use the print to display both of those. Note that they both equal to serial. Yeah, they should both equal to serial. And we simply just do this. And I'm gonna say I love Python because it's just so easy to work with. And yeah, both of these just print out serial because again, the negative one just prints the last element. That's all we need to know about this. And then in the next video, I'll be showing you guys how to modify list elements. So stay tuned for that. And again, if you want internships, write to your email. If you need help finding an internship, check out the first link in the description. You'll get linked the coding directory, which I've been working on tirelessly. And it's a very good guide and it's all for free. So check it out and I'll see you guys in the next one.